So you're ready to start planning your wedding. But what comes first? Where do you begin? What are the first steps you need to be taking? In this video, I'll be walking you through where to start with your wedding planning before you start looking at magazines or Pinterest or venues. This is what you need to be doing first. Hi there, I'm Jamie Chang, your destination wedding planning guru and designer of Joy at Mango Muse Events and the creator of Passport to Joy, the step-by-step -step online wedding planning course for couples. And I share real and honest and useful wedding planning tips, tricks, and advice you can use to help make planning your wedding easy and joyful so you can create a wedding you love. Because let's be honest, wedding planning can be overwhelming and stressful and sometimes downright painful and nobody wants that. So we're bringing the joy back to wedding planning. Are you ready? All right, let's do this. So in our last video, we talked about why wedding planning is so overwhelming and the solution for it. We talked about your first little step, why it's so important and what you should be thinking about. So if you haven't watched that video, you're going to want to check that one out first and then come back to this one. Because today we're going to be talking about the first major steps for your wedding planning. This is going to be step one of seven steps, which I'll be walking you through in a series. So make sure you also subscribe so that you're notified of each one. All right. So step one, step one is all about the beginning and all about the beginning is all about building your foundation. You know, before you start looking at magazines, before you start pinning images, before you start searching for a venue, there's something really important that you need to do first and that's create your foundation. So think of your wedding like a house, like building a house, and you need a solid foundation before you do anything else. Because if you don't build that solid foundation, you're gonna end up on shaky ground, which could mean having a vendor fall through or wasting money or losing valuable time, all of which sucks. Nobody wants that. So building your foundation for your wedding is super key. And it's all about the key pieces for your wedding. These are the pieces that you'll be basing all your decisions, all of your decisions for your wedding going forward. So it's huge. It's also where it all begins because you need to do this first before you do anything else. So what's the foundation? It's the who, what, when, where, why, and how. So it's your guest list, it's your location, it's your date or your time frame, it's your budget, and it's your vision. Now, these are the pieces that you need to work through and work through first and have them be really solid before you can do really anything else. Now, you might be thinking, well, can you start planning your wedding without doing these? And you could. But inevitably, you'll find yourself having to go back to this, back to this foundation if you haven't figured it out because you're going to need it. And what you'll find is that you'll end up wasting a lot of time and money, which nobody wants. So let's build your foundation. Now, we went over the why, your vision, in our last video, which is super, super duper important. So make sure you go check that out. But the rest of your foundation is also really important to you. It all matters. And what we're talking about today is your guest list, which is the people you care about. Your budget, which is what you're able to spend and what you're comfortable spending. Then there's your location, where you're getting married, and your date and or time frame, when you're getting married. Now, all of these pieces of your foundation really matter. Um, and while we go over each piece in detail in Passport to Joy, here's the key thing, the really important thing about this step. And that's you need to make sure that all of these pieces work together. So what do I mean by that? What I mean is these pieces, all your foundation pieces, all have to be in sync. They have to be working together. Otherwise, your wedding just won't make sense. You know, otherwise you'll be essentially fighting yourself 
and making wedding planning so much harder on yourself. So let me give you some examples because I think that'll help you think through this and think through your foundation as well. So for example, let's say your guest list or your guest count isn't aligned with your budget. So let's say you have a ton of people and a really small budget. What is that going to mean? That means it's going to make it harder for you to feed people, to seat people, and let's not even talk about decor, right? Now let's say your budget isn't aligned with your location. What does that mean? It means you could be spending way more than you thought you were going to be spending because your location is kind of expensive, leaving you with not as much money as you had thought you'd have. Or let's say your location isn't aligned with your timing. So let's say you choose a time frame that's more expensive. So maybe you have to fight for hotels or for vendors, or it's a time frame that, you know, ends with you getting hit with a hurricane. Or let's say your timing isn't aligned with your guest list and what results is someone really important to you not being able to attend. Or let's say your vision isn't aligned with either your guest count or your location or your timing or your budget. You can end up with a wedding you kind of hate, something you don't love and something that just doesn't feel true to you. Now, Nobody wants any of these things, right? So you want to make sure that all of these pieces work together. And you'll find that some pieces are obviously easier to work on than others. Like perhaps your location and your time frame may be super easy. Um, and it's your guest list that's hard or your budget that's hard. You know, spend the time you need to work through each of these pieces. And then once you've done that, just make sure that they work together. Because remember, you don't want to move forward until these pieces all work together because you're just going to make it harder on yourself. You're going to make it harder on yourself and essentially have all these elements sort of fighting each other, which you don't want. Now, once you have that solid foundation, once you've worked through all of these pieces and they all feel good together, then you're ready for step number two, which we'll be going over in our next video. So make sure you hit subscribe that you'll get that video. All right, so now I want to hear from you. So talk to me, tell me, what's the area, what's the piece that's tricky for you, that's hard for you? And what's one question I can help you with right now? Because I want to make sure you get through this foundation phase before you move on. And you want this, once again, to be super solid. So let me know in a comment below. And if you liked today's video, please like it, give us some thumbs up. If you want to check out our other videos, please do. There's tons of other wedding planning tips in there as well. And once again, hit the subscribe button so that you can make sure to get all of our new ones. And if you want help with the entire foundation, with building that solid foundation, in addition to the entire wedding planning process, please check out my online program, Passport to Joy. You can find all the links Hello, because you deserve to enjoy your engagement no matter what your budget is. Thanks so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.